All right, it's 3 a.m. and it's Saturday, so I need to get going to the lake, take the new kayak, my Hobie Outback 2019, on the water before all those weekend boaters get out there and I can't move. Let's have another good one. Hopefully we catch some fish and unskunk that boat on its first trip. Oh, blew up on the whopper plopper. Come here, baby. Come here, come here. Yeah, I got the skunk out of the boat now. Got the skunk out of the boat now. Let me put this water up just in case. Oh yeah, there we are. Skunk is out of the boat. Nice solid 16 incher. Hey, I'll take it every day of the week, baby. Every day of the week. All right, let's get a little release on you. Go back. Go back, get some. Go back, get some. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's what I'm talking about. Try to maneuver ourselves out of here. Oh, that felt so good. That felt so freaking good. Got the skunk out and used the whopper plopper. Mm -mm -mm. That felt good. That felt real freaking good, baby. Oh, get some. Whew. That sun had just come up. Good cloudy day. A little bit of wind in the water. Whopper plopper smashed it up top. I wish I could have got that on video, but it was going so slow. So I wasn't sure if something like that would work. Oh, but man. Felt good. Let's see if we can't replicate that and get another one for y'all. Oh, that felt so dang good. To get that first fish in the new kayak, just mm, 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 mm. Let's keep working this whopper plopper. Another one on the whopper plopper. Ah, this time it's a little dude. It's all good. Oh man, he got face planted. He got it in the face. Bro, what you trying to do, man? Oh, all right. Well, thanks for trying. <laughs> Let's let you go. Bye. That dude got straight up face planted on that whopper plopper. Oh, what's that little dude trying to do biting that? Hey, it's all good. I catch them big, I catch them small. Mostly small. Any fish is a fun fish, in my opinion. If you ain't catching, hey. I tell you what, one of the big advantages of this Hobie right here is this reverse system. So I can, you know, if I'm getting too close to the shore, instead of, you know, being all loud with my paddles, I just start backing up. It's, it, it's great. And the way I can keep myself pretty much in the same position, almost like a trolling motor, is, man, it's exactly what I needed. This thing cuts through the water so smooth, all with a little flip of a little pool tab. <laughs> Saw some shad jumping there. One of the things I love about a whopper plopper is you just bring it straight back. There's no crazy finesse action. There's no random technique with it. It's you just throw it and you bring it straight back. And then a fish jumps on it, and you got six hooks ready to, you know, get smashed up in his face. So the chances of you missing are pretty slim. Oh, there we are. There we are. There. Oh, that's a big one. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got that right at the end, buddy. Yes. Yes, yes, oh yeah, you're a strong girl, oh yeah, now that's a Toledo Bend Bass right there, baby, not the eight pounder we wanted, but hey, I will take this any day of the week, good belly on it too, oh man, that, that pumps me the frick up, get some baby, get some, 
Oh, let's get a size on this girl. I've been doing so well with the babies lately that this girl is right around 16 inches. Hey, you know what? Not a giant monster, but as I say, I will take them any day of the week. Thank you, girl. Thank you for biting that. Let's get a good release on you. I don't want to drop my phone. Get you nice and healthy right back there in the water, baby. There we are. Thank you for playing the catch fish game. Bye. Man, did you see that? She hit that thing right at the end. And I, that just goes back to what I want to say is like the importance of don't don't count any cast out until, you know, it's back in your boat. Don't, don't you know, oh, I see my bait. It's getting close. It's getting close. Like, because then at that point, you're just, you know, you're missing out on so much. Like if that one, if I would have just said screw it and started reeling in my bait real fast and didn't want it, then I would have missed that fish. I, I, I would have been a catch gone. Man, that stuff just pumps me up, though. Mm. It is feeling good. I got two 16-inchers and one little dude. Hey, I'm looking for that big old Toledo Bend bad boy, though. That's what I want. Still thankful for the fish I got, but I would love to catch me a big old Toledo Bend bad boy. Whopper Plopper, getting it done. Come on, Mr. Whopper Plopper, let's, let's do it again. This topwater bite is oh so fun. Whopper plop, and uh, nice little bass. Yeah, I'll take them. I'll take them. Oh, you got treble hooks everywhere, buddy. Let me help you out. One good thing about these whopper plopper trebles is, man, these things are huge. So it's not an issue getting these things out too much of the time. Let out a little line. There we go. Nice, healthy girl. All right. Y'all have a good one. See you later. Bye. Got a nice little guy on the Wappa Plappa. Oh, you're bigger than I thought you were. Come here, guy. Oh, he's got a whole bunch of triple hooks up in him. Sadly, no more GoPro shots today because, well, my memory card's full and I completely forgot to erase the old stuff. Oh well, looks like we're on the uh, big boy camera now. So once again, uh, all I'm doing is I'm just taking this whopper plopper, I'm throwing it near cover, throwing it near the shore, and I'm getting hits. Uh, I'm on my fifth fish, I think, fifth or sixth. And I, I'm not going to complain. It's nice. And especially this time of day because it's 740 and usually it starts heating up quite a bit down here at this time of year. But uh, it's a nice cloudy day. I think a possible thunderstorm is supposed to roll in, but we'll get out of here before then. But this Whopper Plopper is still doing the job, so I see no reason why I should go away from it. Another fish on. Huh? Little guy. But I'll take him, baby. Whopper plopper action. Hmm. Get some. <laughs> yeah. Another reason why I wear pants, even in the summer. One bugs, two hooks. So overall, I do want to talk about this Hobie kayak and how it's been performing on the water. And hey. You know, I, I, you know, going from a huge kayak in that Cabela's Advanced Angler 120, pretty much the same thing as a Big Fish 120, uh, I, I hardly feel the difference. The only big difference is the amount of deck space I have. And when I stand up, I can't move around as much, but that is the only difference. And honestly, it's not that big of a, dis, a, a difference to me. Because um, while I do like to stand, I don't do it all the time and honestly this seat is so comfortable and especially with the lumbar support I don't really need to stand all that much uh, unless I'm you know sight fishing or something like that but I've been doing fine I mean I'm on what like eight nine fish now uh, and 
I can't complain about anything. Uh, very stable, you know, I can rock back and forth. The front and go reverse to go from the front to the back and just keep myself in one place, even in heavy wind, is great. And even if I didn't have the, this kayak in the wind, is, is so far has been outstanding. It's not as windy. Well, I was talking to myself for like five, ten minutes. So I have no idea what you guys didn't get and did get. But pretty much I was just singing the praises of this Hobie kayak and how awesome it's been and how much I really, really enjoy this kayak. Um, stability is amazing. Uh, gosh, I cannot complain about this kayak whatsoever. Everything I needed, everything I wanted, and it darn sure should because it's expensive. All right, so I doubt you're able to hear me. It's really windy. That was the exact reason why I wanted to turn the camera on to show you how great this thing handles in the wind. I mean, I got chops, I got wind. I'm not getting blown around anymore. This rudder is outstanding. I can still turn pretty well. Wind is not affecting me at all. It's great. Well, top water bite starting to cool down. Probably time to switch tactics, but I've been out for a while, so I promised the wife that I would take her out to dinner tonight, so I'm probably gonna call it a day, even though it's only 10:17. But I did get out in the water around 4 a.m. So hey, not a bad day, not a bad day in the water at all. Caught a bunch of fish, and man, I just can't complain. It's a lot of top water. Actually, all of them are top water. Can't beat that. Love top water. <laughs>